you can use a string, 550 cord. I use a loop of 550 cord around my bench vise handle. And you hook the end of the firing pin assembly under it. You pull the bolt forward, which then extends the firing pin assembly out until you can see a slot in the side of it. Now this slot is perfectly sized to drop a penny or a dime into. Just simply stick a penny or a dime into the slot, relieve the tension on it, and that will hold the firing pin back so that you can unscrew the firing pin assembly. Once you've unscrewed the firing pin assembly, that's really as far down as it needs to go for any kind of field cleaning or inspection. You wipe off the spring, wipe off the firing pin assembly, uh, blow out the bolt body, and get that cleaned out, and then relube the spring, screw it back together, make sure you put a dab of grease on the bolt threads, and you're done. If you want to go further than that, Brownells carries a couple of tools that will allow you to screw them onto the end of the firing pin assembly and compress the firing pin spring so you can drive the cross pin out and then further disassemble the bolt. Um, that really isn't something that's necessary at the user end of it. There's nothing you need to get in there and clean on any kind of regular basis. If for some reason the gun was neglected and the firing pin assembly is rusted up badly, then I go ahead and break that down and get in there and clean things out, make sure you don't have any rust that's going to cause any damage. Otherwise, in your regular day-to-day -day routine, if you feel the need to totally clean that assembly, get yourself a can of brake cleaner and hose it down with brake cleaner, blow it out with compressed air, and then re-oil it and re-lube the threads, and you'll be good to go.